in which Francis Scott Key drops mention of Rocket's red glare in the Star Spangled Banner. For this is Great Moments in Popular Science, 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 Science. Dear viewers, in moments of deep thought, have you ever wondered what the rockets in Rocket's red glare and bombs bursting in air actually are? Of course, bombs were bombs, cannonballs. But what were rockets in 1814 when the Star Spangled Banner was written? As legend has it, Key bore witness to the British siege on Fort McHenry during the War of 1812. Ah, the mighty British Empire launched six to seven hundred rockets, all of them falling resoundingly short. For at the time, rockets were more or less iron-cased fireworks unreliable and little changed from their origins hundreds of years earlier. That's to say, the British were not the first to use the rocket. For in the grand tradition of the British Empire, they ripped the design of their rockets from India. But let us go back even further to discover their origins. The first gunpowder-powered rockets were developed in the 13th century by China's Song Dynasty. Behold, a fire arrow which was a bamboo tube capped at one end, packed with gunpowder, attached to a long stick for guidance. The thing is, while these rockets probably look scary as sh** to invading Mongol hordes, their effectiveness as weapons of destruction is not well documented. Things changed in the late 1700s, when the Mysore Kingdom of Southern India went to war with the British East India Company. Those imperialist bastards. Mysoreans packed iron tubes with combustibles, creating more thrust than the lightweight bamboo fire arrows of yore. These new rockets could travel up to 1,000 yards. Hmm. More importantly, Mysoreans realized rocket warfare was most effective when launches happened in mass. In one battle, some 2,000 rockets rained down simultaneously, and no doubt, soiling some British trousers. But the British won and confiscated the Mysorean rockets. Meanwhile, in England, inventor William Concreve was struggling to make rockets fly even 600 yards. Never doubt imperialist ingenuity. A modified version of the Mysorean rocket was soon dubbed the Concreve rocket. Hmm. The Brits added different weighting and materials, doubling or even tripling its range. But still short of Fort McHenry, am I right? So, dear viewers, that's the rocket of the Star Spangled Banner. It was also the foundation of modern rocketry, which ultimately did stuff like get us to the moon and launch fancy telescopes. And that was Great Moments in Popular Science. Science. science.